become a storm, though, right? You know, tracking radar right now for that one closest to us here near Puerto Rico. You can see there's the radar from San Juan. Not a west wind, so no closed area of low pressure here across uh, the northern Caribbean Sea or southern Atlantic Ocean there. But uh, we're going to still track some heavy downpours for Hispaniola, flooding rains there for them. But this is the infrared satellite imagery. Little development expected over the next couple of days. We'll watch it, though, as it gets a little bit closer into the peninsula here. Uh, but still, regardless, it's going to be some increasing tropical moisture for us by the weekend. Also monitoring another tropical wave well out into the Atlantic. Coming up the first alert seven day forecast, I'll detail where that's going to be headed over the next couple of days. But right now we're closing in on 90 degrees. Hadn't seen that in a week here in Jacksonville if we make it and when we see more storms. That's coming up in the first alert seven day forecast. We are right now on top of some breaking news out of Mississippi, and that's where two people are dead and an officer is hurt after being shot at a Walmart. This is brand new video coming into our newsroom from the moment after that shooting this morning. Now, here's what we know so far. The officer who was shot was wearing a bulletproof vest and is doing okay. The suspect was also shot and is at an area hospital. His condition not known right now. Investigators are working to find a motive, but according to our CBS sister station, the suspect is probably a disgrace. Gruntled employee. This noon, we're hearing a story of survival from a couple shot during that garlic festival in Gilroy, California. Wendy Towner and her husband were selling honey at a stand when the gunman climbed over a fence and shot them. Wendy's brother says the two survived by playing dead at the time. Their three year old son was also saved after a young girl pulled him under a table. Last night, the city of Gilroy gathered at a vigil to honor the three victims killed, two of them children. We know that six-year-old Stephen Romero was playing in an inflatable bounce house before being shot in the back. 13-year-old Keila Salazar was there with her family. She would have celebrated her 14th birthday this Saturday. And 25-year-old Trevor Irby, a recent college graduate, was enjoying the festival with his girlfriend. His grandmother says that they were in love and ready for the future. She'd do anything for him, and he would do anything for her. And I used to always say, you know, well, when are you guys getting married? Oh, Grandma, we got all kinds of time. This didn't happen. Just heartbreaking. A witness who was standing within 20 feet of the gunman says Antonio Ligon was wearing a tactical gear at the time, hat, sunglasses, and also had a semi-automatic rifle. The witness said, quote, he was dressed for what he was there to do. Investigators are still searching for motive. A suspected local drug dealer arrested while showing off money on Facebook Live has been convicted of murder. The video shows Breon Hollings flashing the cash seconds before police raided his home in northwest Jacksonville. Action News Jacks first showed you this video back in 2017. Investigators say they were serving a search warrant and found guns and drugs. A jury found him guilty of the second degree murder of this man, Eric White. Investigators say in April of 2017, Hollings arranged a meeting with White and his girlfriend and ambushed them. Action News Jax told you when White was found inside his car at a convenience store in North Edgewood Avenue, they say Hollings and three others fired 15 shots at the couple. Breaking news just in the Clay County Sheriff's office, Clay County Sheriff's wife just filed for divorce following a huge scandal with her husband. Action News Jax first reported in May when Daryl Daniels apologized for his role in the scandal involving sex, money, and a JSO corrections officer. According to new documents filed Friday, his wife claims their marriage is, quote, irretrievably broken, and she's requesting alimony. We'll bring you more tonight on Action News Jax at 5. More than a dozen sea turtle nests have been lost in Amelia Island. Sea Turtle Patrol says that they were washed away during high tide on the island. New at noon, Action News Jack's Brittany Donovan shows us what we should do if we find a nest that's been wiped out. Along this small stretch of Fernandina Beach, there are three different sea turtle nests. And if you take a look at the ground, you can see just how high the tide has reached. Now, this nest appears to be okay, but if you come across a nest that appears to have been washed out by the tide, there's several steps Sea Turtle Patrol wants you to take. A devastating sight to sea turtle lovers. Nests washed away by high tide. Sea turtle eggs left scattered in the sand. Beachgoers shared a series of photos of stakes marking nests knocked over. Amelia Island Sea Turtle Watch says 13 nests have been lost to the erosion. 
I just hate to hear it. I love the sea turtles. I went to Amelia Island and found several nests right at the high tide line. Action News Jack's first alert, meteorologist Garrett Beatonball tells me higher tides are expected through the next few days. As we near a new moon cycle, that means more nests could be lost. That's so sad. Yeah, I wish there was something that could be done. A sea turtle patrol member shared this post on Facebook, asking if you find washed out wood to place it above the high tide line and take a picture of the nest number on the stakes so they can document which nest was affected. Families tell me they're going to be more alert while on the beach. I think I'll pay attention to the nest a little more and um, you know, keep my eyes out. Several people have asked why the nests that appear to be threatened can't be moved for their safety. Ahead at five, why sea turtle patrol tells me they're not able to relocate them. Reporting in Fernandina Beach, Brittany Donovan, CBS 47, Action News Jax. Some breaking news in the last five minutes. The Clay County Sheriff's Office has identified the shooting suspect involved in a SWAT standoff as Brian Bolden. We told you about this just about 10 minutes ago. He's been charged with aggravated assault. Sky Action News Jax was over a neighborhood in Orange Park all morning long as neighbors had to be evacuated. Because of the hours long standoff there, a lot of folks couldn't get back into their houses for a while. Action News Jax is digging into the suspect's past now, and we'll have a live report coming up on Action News Jax at 5. Jacksonville families will have another chance to weigh in on a proposal to decriminalize small amounts of marijuana in city limits. Action News Jax first reported in May when Councilman Garrett Dennis came up with the idea to allow officers to decide whether to give someone a ticket or arrest them with caught with a small amount of pot. If you'd like to weigh in, head to the Legends Center on Sutel Drive tonight at 6. Capital One is offering free credit monitoring services to those affected by a security breach. The company says a hacker gained access to more than 100 million customer accounts and credit card applications earlier this year. That includes social security numbers, addresses, and bank account numbers. But no credit card account numbers or login credentials were compromised. Capital One said it will notify people affected by the breach. Now, the Justice Department says 33-year-old Paige Thompson, a former Amazon software engineer from Seattle, was arrested for this breach. A criminal complaint says Thompson then tried to share the information with others online. And from the Action News Jack's First Alert Weather Center, a meteorologist Garrett Biedenball. Right now, we are tracking showers moving into the area as we head through the next couple of days when the tropical moisture increases. That's coming up in the Action News Jack's First Alert 7 day forecast. Students in Duval County go back to school in 13 days, but we're collecting supplies right now. Coming up on Action News Jack's Live at Noon, we'll tell you where you can donate and what we want you to bring. Plus, keeping a promise how this little boy's lemonade stand was just the start of a lifelong vow that he made to his dad before his dad passed away. What to Watch, brought to you by Ashley Home Store. Action News Jax. Action, because it's a hard hitting live newscast with breaking news happening right now. News that's investigative. John Bachman and Tanika Hughes breaking down how local stories impact you with Chief Meteorologist Mike Burrish, rated the most accurate. Jax, because we're super local with more reporters swarming neighborhoods in our area. The number one rated newscast at five is CBS 47. Action News Jax. Every parent just wants to feel like their kid is going to be safe. Things can go wrong. Action News Jack's anchor Letitia Barriola uncovering daycare inspection reports and exposing potential problems. Everything from background checks to training with the child care workers. As a mom, leaving my child at daycare is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. With Kid Care Report, you can make an informed decision. The Kid Care Report, tonight at 6 on CBS 47 and Fox 30 Action News Jack's. The heat is on and Del Air Heating and Air Conditioning can turn it off. Turn to the experts at Del Air, a 100% employee-owned company, and save up to $1,500 in rebates on a high-efficiency carrier green feed system. Visit DelAir.com today. Does your home have a crawl space? They can be filled with musty air, mold, and pests all right beneath your feet. A sealed crawl space can mean energy savings and a cleaner, more comfortable home. Call Alpha Foundations today. When you hire Barnes & Cohen, you expect answers and you expect results. Call 346-HELP and find out what Barnes & Cohen can do for you. 
it's time to update the bathroom. But we wanted to work with a company we could trust. And Rebath made it effortless. A Rebath design consultant came to our home and presented us ideas and products in a way that made our decision simple. They took away the old, installed the new, and gave us the bathroom we always wanted. Trust Rebath with the safety in your bathroom. Call 904-209-9629 and save $500 off your complete bathroom remodel. The Tamron Hall Show, coming this fall, only on CBS 47. The heat is on, and Del Air Heating and Air Conditioning can turn it off. It's Del Air, so you never have to worry about cost with our $500 lowest price guarantee. Turn to the experts at Del Air with up to $1,500 in rebates on a high efficiency carrier green speed system. Visit delair.com today. The first alert seven day forecast on air, online, and on the go. Brought to you by ViStar. If you believe that having a live help call center that's open every day of the week is better, join ViStar. Welcome back. Duval County students head back to school in just 13 days now. The countdown is on. Mm -hmm. But Action News Checks is collecting school supplies right now for kids. And Don, we have a list behind us here. Yes. Two columns here of all the things they need. Action News Checks, Courtney Cole is live at the town center. And Courtney, we have that drive going on today and the boxes starting to fill up. Don and I were there just a few hours ago. Yes, and my heart is just so full. We're outside of Magianos. We've met so many wonderful people helping us to fill up those boxes. I'm going to walk you over here. You can see these boxes are full of backpacks, what we used to know as space keepers. I'm showing my age here. Index cards, crayons, like so many wonderful things. And no donation is too big or too small. We're going to be out here until 3 o'clock, so make sure you bring out all the goodies because we know there's nothing like having that new backpack, new pencils for the first day of school. And then I'm going to walk you over here because because not only do we have awesome community members, we've had plenty of people come out from the station to help meet and sort through these supplies. We've got Lorena and Clan. We've got and we've got April from our web team. We've got Letitia Barriola. So come out, donate. We get to meet you and say hello. But let me tell you, I spoke to one woman who told me that she feels blessed and she feels like it's her duty to bless others. So she told me it was important for her to donate. In our community, we want to make sure that every kid has school supplies to start off the year in the right way. And like I said, if you're just tuning in right now, we want to make sure that we, that as many of our babies going back to school in Duval County have as everything they need to succeed, especially that first week because it sets the tone. So we're here in the town center outside of Magianos. We'll be healed here until three. Stop by on your lunch break. And if you're saying, I want to donate, I'm not sure what to donate, you know we've got you covered on Action News Jacks. Go to actionnewsjacks.com or go on our app. We've got a list. We'll make it easy. Reporting live at the St. John's Town Center, right outside of Magianos, Courtney Cole, CBS 47, Action News Shacks. Thank you, Courtney. Naval Station Mayport will welcome a brand new ship tomorrow. This is video of the USS Paul Ignatius being commissioned in Fort Lauderdale. The guided missile destroyer was named after Paul Ignatius, who served as the Secretary of the Navy under President Lyndon B. Johnson. In Clay County, tomorrow is the deadline to get cash for homes damaged by Hurricane Irma. Action News Jax told you earlier this month, Clay County wants to buy your flooded, damaged homes and property and turn it into green space. The Grant Discovery and Disaster Recovery Group says if you're interested, have a completed application submitted by tomorrow. Now certified, Jacksonville's most accurate weather forecast, Action News Jack's First Alert Weather. My First Alert, meteorologist Gary Vedenball live look from the Weston and Jekyll Island on the Action News Jack's First Alert Skycam Network. Calm seas there is typical of the case uh, there at Jekyll Island. 87 is where we are there now with an east wind at 9 miles per hour. Going to be topping 90 degrees today in Jacksonville for the first time in a week. We're at 88 right now. We'll likely make it to the lower 90s today. Upper 80s to near 90 degrees already in Baker County and mid 80s. Along the northeast Florida coastline, where in the hour by hour forecast, we'll make it into the mid 80s. That's the best we'll do and calm down to the low 80s by about 6 to 7 o'clock. But it'll be mostly dry too at Jacksonville Beach. Elsewhere, low 90s for Middleburg, down to Palaka, upper 80s to near 90 degrees. And as we head inland, lower to mid 90s for Glen St. Mary over to Lake City, mid 90s for you in Blackshear, Georgia, under a mostly sunny sky. Five sweet first alert Doppler HD is not having to track much yet. There will be a few isolated showers. There was one earlier in St. John's County that popped up pretty quick and went back down. But as we go through the hour by hour forecast, you can see primarily along and south of Interstate 10 is one of the spots to see a few isolated showers for today. But all in all, most folks stay dry for your Tuesday.
Now, tracking the tropics here in the Action News Jacks First Alert Weather Center. There's that area we've been tracking. Little development expected over the next 24 to 48 hours. A lot of wind shear right here, but you can see by the weekend, that's where it moves. And we'll watch it for at least some tropical moisture to move our way. But right now, again, it's got a wall of winds that are unfavorable uh, for intensification there. It kind of tears the thunderstorms apart from the center. And so as we go through here, this is the tropical moisture uh, feed here. The darker shades there indicate a very moist air mass. And so that's going to spread over our area. Area here as we head into the weekend. And really, that's our primary kind of thing to watch for uh, will be increased moisture. So it'll be wetter for the weekend, but it doesn't look like an organized tropical system. Back into the eastern Atlantic, another tropical wave that moves well over to the west by late in the weekend. That's when we have to kind of watch it here. Uh, that's when it becomes more favorable for the possibility of some uh, development here tropically. This is the winds from the European uh, forecast model. We'll keep watching that as we head into next week as well. Of course, talking the tropics with Mike at ActionNewsJacks.com. Your Action News Jacks first alert seven day forecast with your weekend always in view. Low 90s for your Wednesday. A few more isolated showers and thunderstorms for your Thursday. The first day of school for Ware County students, by the way, in Georgia. I mean, the 70s in the morning, 80s through the mid morning, and low to mid 90s for afternoon highs with some scattered showers and thunderstorms for the evening or a ride home from school. Low 90s for Friday. And then here comes that tropical moisture nearby. Mostly cloudy skies, scattered showers, and slightly cooler temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. You can always get this forecast any time of the day right there at actionnewsjacks.com. Coming up on Action News Jacks at noon, sweeter than any lemonade. The promise the six-year-old boy made to his dad before he passed away when we come back. By now, everyone has heard about saving money on their energy bills. But most people don't think about their windows. Window World knows that the biggest energy loss in almost every home are the windows. You can upgrade your heating and air, your appliances, that's great. But before you do that, upgrade your windows to Window World's energy efficient windows. Window World's windows are easy to clean, energy efficient, and have the absolute best guarantee in the business. Call Window World today. Window, Window World, simply, simply the, the best, best for less. less. Gallon of gas, 259. Oil change, 1999. A new Chevy Silverado. 249 per month. A new Toyota Highlander, 379 per month. Having an easy and enjoyable car buying experience with someone you can trust, that's our wow advantage. It's simple. We give you what others won't. Come see why our family at Beaver Chevrolet and Beaver Toyota continues to grow every day. We're here to wow you. Have both Medicare and Medicaid? We can help you get more health care coverage at no additional cost. WellCare health plans are designed to give extra benefits to people who have limited income or resources. Many of our plans combine parts A and B, hospital and doctor coverage, and your prescription drug coverage into one plan at no extra cost. Take advantage of zero or low monthly plan premiums and zero or low co-pays. With a Medicare Advantage plan from WellCare, you get more benefits than with the original Medicare. Plus, access to a large network of local and regional doctors and hospitals. Call now to talk about plan options. We can answer questions and help you enroll over the phone. Call 1-866-625-1487. That's 1-866-625-1487. Harrow & Harrow is proud to sponsor closed captioning for our community. We are proud to be local and part of this community. Our families are here, our roots are here, our future is here, and we are here for you. Call Harrow & Harrow, 251-1111. Don't settle for less than you deserve. Breaking news right now this noon, the JSO Corrections Officer at the center of the Clay County Sheriff's sex scandal has resigned. In just the last five minutes, JSO said that Sierra Smith's last day was Monday. Just 10 minutes ago, we broke the news that Sheriff Daryl Daniels' wife filed for a divorce. According to new documents filed Friday, his wife claimed that their marriage is, quote, irretrievably broken, and she is requesting alimony.
A live look now at the St. John's Town Center again, where Action News Jax is holding a back to school supply drive. Got some folks showing up there, and right now we're collecting anything from pens and pencils to book bags and binders. See all the stuff that people already dropped off. We have a big truck there, too. You still have time to donate. We'll be at that roundabout right in front of Maggiano's until 3 o'clock this afternoon. There's Lorena as well. Mm -hmm. And maybe the sw sweetest thing when life gives you a lemon story. This afternoon, a six year old Colorado boy took his mom on a date after he promised his dad he would take care of her before he passed away from cancer. Yep, I needed the Kleenex for this one. Yeah. The community came out in crowds to help out. <laughs> Look at that cutie. The day after Bradley Campbell lost his dad, he went to work. His neighbors and friends came by before catching the attention of Denver police. Now, once they heard Brady's story, they put out a radio call to first responders in the area. It really lifted our spirits, and it made Brady, you know, so happy. What's your secret ingredient? It's secret. I'm not telling you. <laughs> hey, okay. But it's cheap. It's a dollar or your best offer. At the end of the day, Brady raised 240 bucks. Touched by his story, a neighbor set up a GoFundMe account to help Brady and his mom with cancer research, but he took mom out on a date. The Action News Jack's First Alert SkyCam Network is brought to you by Morgan & Morgan. Why do more local women watch Action News Jacks at 5? Because the unexpected can happen anytime. I like to know about the recalls, the school changes. Because my family is depending on me. I want more than just crime stories. I want real investigations that tell me what's really going on in my neighborhood. I need Mike Burge to tell me about severe weather. Not just today, but for tomorrow, even five days from now. See for yourself why more women are watching CBS 47 Action News Jacks at 5. Change your life today at St. John's Vein Center. Dr. St. George has dedicated his life to vascular medicine and has performed over 40,000 procedures using the latest technology. For a limited time, we're offering free screenings. St. John's Vein Center. It was time to update the bathroom. But we wanted to work with a company we could trust. Rebath gave us the bathroom we always wanted. Call 904-209-9629 and save $500 off your complete bathroom remodel. This is where your carefree spirit gets kicked into high gear, where you can relax or let the good times go full throttle. In Daytona Beach, you have a 500-foot sandy backdrop to unplug and reconnect. You have the freedom to be yourself. Take advantage of last-minute oceanfront accommodations. This is wide open fun. Plan your trip today at DaytonaBeach.com. In our fight for justice, our day starts before most are awake. Our mornings are early, the days long. But those morning hours are where it all begins, preparing for the battles ahead. Whether it's fighting for a client that's been injured or wronged by an insurance company, in our journey for justice, this is where many of our days end. And the difference we make for the people makes every second worth it. Morgan & Morgan, for the people .com. It was time to update the bathroom. But we wanted to work with a company we could trust. Rebath gave us the bathroom we always wanted. Call 904-209-9629 and save $500 off your complete bathroom remodel. For over 10 years, St. John's Vein Center has set the standard for high-quality vein care in Jacksonville. Did you know that your insurance could cover your procedure? Find out today. Give us a call. St. John's Vein Center. Why live in pain? All right, looks like we're out of time. Have a great day today. YNR is on next. You could fill a jumbo jet four times over with a number of people killed by medical mistakes. Not every year, every week. Failing to run tests, prescribing the wrong drugs or dosage, lab mix-ups. I know it can feel unnatural to file a suit against your doctor, but when their mistakes take so much away from you, you have to hire a law firm who knows how to get to the truth of what happened. Farrah and Farrah, protecting you and your family. I have always wanted to do this. This is going to be awesome. Let's do this. Babe, what are you doing? Done a demo the bathroom. Who are you? The bath fitter installer, remember? Bath fitter custom made our new bath to fit perfectly over the old one, so there's no demo or mess. Impressive. Wait, so no demo? Sorry, man. Bath Fitter will remodel your bath with no messy demolition in as little as one day. Call now or visit bathfitter.com for a free in-home consultation. 
By now, everyone has heard about saving money on their energy bills, but most people don't think about their windows. Window World knows that the biggest energy loss in almost every home are the windows. You can upgrade your heating and air, your appliances, that's great. But before you do that, upgrade your windows to Window World's energy efficient windows. Window World's windows are easy to clean, energy efficient, and have the absolute best guarantee in the business. Call Window World today. Window, Window World, World, simply, simply the, the best, best for less. less.